Hey, good morning, uh, YouTube. It is Sunday morning. I am in the uh, in the city, the city of San Francisco, San Francisco County. Sitting in traffic, and uh, it's about 7:30 in the morning. I'm making my way over to uh, Mount Sutra Open Preserve. I've seen a couple loops that uh, were recommended by uh, Trail Forks, so I'm making my way over there now, Mount Sutro. Sutro, Sutra, uh, I'm not quite sure. Anyway, I'll put it down below. Um, there's a lot of other YouTube videos out there about uh, about this particular area. It's probably not very long. It's in the middle of uh, of the city. That's what the venture looks like. Hope you guys get a chance to get out uh, this weekend and uh, find your path and uh, get out there and ride something different. Kind of cool if you look up there, you can see the uh, tip tops of the uh, Golden Gate Bridge. YouTube, I am uh, here at my location. I just got done parking. Um, just kind of in a little neighborhood over here, just above the uh, University of California Hospital, UCSF. And um, kind of parked over here in a neighborhood off of uh, Belmont and Edgewood. You can kind of see in the background, you got the financial district and different parts of uh, San Francisco. And then down here on Edgewood is where I'll probably get on to a good chunk of uh, some of these trails. Met a neighbor who was out walking his dog this morning. Said it was totally safe to park where I'm at, so that's really encouraging and good. And it was free parking, huh? Right here on the side of the street. So that was really positive. In addition to that, he said the trails are really fun. He rides them all the time, um, lives in this area pretty much geared up and ready to start riding so let's go see what we find. This makes sense. All right. Riding the stuff blind. Not exactly sure where to go. It's a bunch of trails in here. Probably half a mile, quarter mile. Probably nothing more than a mile itself. They're just kind of wedged together. They don't necessarily connect. Guy was walking with his uh, beads on. I didn't want to startle him. And I think he finally saw me and ended up getting startled and probably irritated. <laughs> anyway, all right. This is the East Trail here. Uh, probably gonna be a ton of switchbacks. Ooh.
Now you turn around and climb it to get to the next trail. Whew. The trails are in great shape. Looks like they've been doing some uh, some kind of uh, cleanup work out in this area. But you can see there's a lot of uh, trimming going on, a lot of tree cutting, a lot of branches down. Ooh. So this is the only black diamond trail in here. And uh, at this point, other than just being narrow and having a few rocks here and there, A lot of tree branches as you can imagine kind of dangling over the edge and getting wrapped up into my wheels and spokes you can see there's a lot of work going on inside here it looks like they're kind of making additional trails So peeking through the uh, tree lines here, you can see some pretty spectacular views of uh, San Francisco. As that other belt, mountain bike rider or bike rider was uh, saying, they kind of closed this trail for downhill use to bikes because of the heavy traffic during COVID. So we wanted to just kind of take our time and work our way back down this trail. It's not a long trail, but it's the only trail that I know of that will take me back to where I parked my car. Whew. It's a nice day here. There's not a lot of fog at all. When I woke up this morning, it was pretty clear, about 7 a.m. Drove over from Pacifica. All right, we have a, a gorgeous view overlooking the city. You can see uh, Alcatraz there in the background. Uh, we are up here uh, near the top of uh, Mount uh, Sutro. Um, climbed up um, a couple times now. It is a lot of work. But nonetheless, the uh, views are spectacular. So the county of San Francisco is also the city of San Francisco. It's the exact same geography. So there's obviously only one city inside the county of San Francisco, and that is San Francisco. Uh, so that becomes the county seat. Uh, this is the fourth largest city in, the, in California. It's the 16th largest city in the United States. Population here uh, projected in 2019 is just an estimate, but about 889,000 people. So as of 2020, San Francisco has the highest salaries and disposable income and medium home prices in the world. Uh, medium home prices here are at $1.7 million. So during the gold rush era of the 1840s, um, San Francisco became the most populated city on the West Coast. And that remained true until the early 1900s. And then in 1906, you had the big fire of San Francisco and the earthquake of San Francisco. That uh, destroyed 75% of the city. 
So San Francisco is also headquarters of five major banking institutions and various other companies such as uh, Levi Strauss, you got The Gap, you got Fitbit, Salesforce.com, Yelp, Pinterest, Twitter, Uber, Lyft, as well as Craigslist. Um, obviously mostly internet based companies you don't have uh, big manufacturing facilities because there's not a lot of space out here available for that. I keep seeing these little mini trails that kind of splinter off of this main trail. I bet those will create some pretty fun rides, but uh, probably a nightmare to climb back up. I should probably turn my bell on. I can imagine coming here later in the morning or in the middle of the afternoon. It's probably incredibly crowded here. Pretty sharp switchbacks. Uh. All right, this pops me back out onto uh, Edgewood, I believe is the name of the street. You gotta imagine these are not those $1.7 million homes, these are probably two or three times that amount. Fantastic view there. Everyone loves the downhill part, including me. It was just a lot of work to get to the top. <laughs> I meant a lot of work. Um, <laughs> you know, just to go half a mile on probably seemed like 15 maybe even 20% grade. All right, so we're gonna load up here, make our way back to the hotel, pack up and uh, head back home. You know, one of the things that I have really enjoyed about starting this journey, obviously the mountain biking is uh, incredibly fun and epic, but getting out and seeing our state, our state is so vast. It has so many different cultures and geographies and there's so much to see, so much architecture, all the different bridges and freeways and everything that uh, that's in our state. And I'm 51 years old now. I've probably only seen a handful of the state, if that makes sense. And so this has really given me an opportunity to see a lot of the areas that I never had a chance to see prior. Or not that I didn't have the chance, but I didn't take the chance to see earlier. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed some of the footage and uh, hope you guys take some time Get out there and uh, find your path. So following the ride, we went back to the hotel. We went and grabbed some lunch and walked along the beach before we started to head home. And we came across this guy. <laughs> 